Hi, um, I'm Diane Fender, and I'm here reporting live with Girls Globe. And we are here with a youth delegate, Ohun Lejan from Botswana. And I'll just go ahead and let you introduce yourself, and then I would love to ask you a few questions. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. My name is Kokon Tlejan Paladi. I'm a youth activist and advocate from Botswana. I'm the founder and director of the Kokon Tlejan Paladi Pillar of Hope Foundation, and I'm also part of Afrian Botswana. And I'm here uh, with um, the support of UNFPA Botswana Country Office. Thank you so much. Well, you were so inspiring today in the youth pre-forum event, and I would just love to hear from you. Um, why do you think it is so important to engage young people in this conversation for um, advocating for maternal child and newborn health? Yes, it's absolutely quintessential for us as young people to be meaningfully involved and engaged at such high-level meetings and platforms discussion when talking about issues of maternal mortality because you find that even the population affected by maternal mortality and so on and so forth, that the bulk of it is from us as young people because considering our demographic weight in the whole world, in the, first of all in the continent, Africa, and then globally, we're the single largest group in the population and that in essence means that we are part of or we make up um, the majority of the population that is affected by these challenges. And if we are part of the problem, we might as well be part of the solution as well. It's important that our views and opinions are taken into consideration and that we're not left on the periphery. Decisions are not made in our absence. We're part of it meaningfully and engaged. And that also we, we feel... We're the ones mostly affected by the challenges such as maternal mortality. And it only makes sense that the solutions to those challenges come from the people who feel the brunt of the, the challenges themselves. So it's absolutely important that we're engaged at high level platforms uh, and that we get to interact with decision makers and policy makers. These are the people who, um, in the end, go back to our offices, take our views and opinions into consideration, and uh, bring them out into the world as, as laws, as policies, as human rights commitments. And it's important that we have been given an, an opportunity, a platform, to also uh, set the tone and define the youth perspective of that. Well, thank you so much. Well, I know um, just what you said today was so inspiring and something that struck me was um, just saying that we need to take this conversation from inside these walls and really turn it into action. So I thought that was uh, amazing and brilliant and it was just really inspiring um, what you had contributed today. Um, I would love to, there were so many things and recommendations that came out from today's pre-forum and I would just love to hear specifically from you um, what key recommendations would you like to see um, that are as a result of this forum? All right, I'll just, um, I think there, there aren't any new recommendations that we can come up with. It's just reinforcing what has already been said before. Mm -hmm. I think one of the, the, the major recommendations that um, we should be saying and speaker after speaker should be echoing the same voice is that commitments have been made, human rights commitments, there's certain laws in our countries, uh, declarations, protocols, and so on and so forth. They need to be implemented. They need to be enforced. You know, They need to be um, signed to for countries that have not signed to. If it's ratified, a charter they need to do that but most importantly they need to implement it go beyond talking go beyond speaking um, equality good health in papers in black and white and put it into action to make sure that it impacts on um, uh, the girl child 10 year old girl child right now who's about to give birth the girl child who's right now um, committing an illegal abortion you know with these statistics they, they, they're shocking and if you hear them if your heart doesn't skip out I'd, I'd honestly be shocked for you you know because they're really worrying and you ask yourself what can we do beyond the talking the recommendations are there we already know what needs to be done what we need is action mm. action action, action, and even more action. We have to make sure that the relevant stakeholders are involved. Young people, they're affected. Um, they need to be at the forefront of response. In Africa, culture it plays an, a significant role in, um, in, in, in molding our society because we have a deeply rooted cultural background. We need to be able to eliminate the good and the bad from our cultural practices and, and see how we can um, encourage the good practices such as breastfeeding, 
and see how we can we can um, talk speak against um, the the harmful practices such as early child marriages and female genital mutilation, and make sure that in that process, quintessentially, significantly, we also involved cultural leaders because if they're not involved, they will feel you're shining that culture that believes in roots and so on and so forth, right? So what needs to be done, we all know it. Everybody knows it. We speak it in different language, in different platforms, in different countries, in different contexts. We just need action. We need to really go beyond these rooms, these boardrooms, these meetings, touch base on what's happening on the ground. Because the more we keep talking, the numbers keep on ticking right now. Ticking, ticking, ticking. We need to be more action oriented. And I feel that also challenges us as young people. Why? Because we, we have always been complaining that our senior citizens, our elders, our decision makers who are mostly elders, they're more into talking and not doing. Well, that is a challenge for us, the new generation. We cannot afford to repeat the same mistakes. If we say there's too much talk and no action, let us lead by example and go beyond these platforms and make sure that when we go back to our respective countries, the young people know about the decisions that were taken here. The young people are aware of the challenges and how we solve them. And we do mobilization, advocacy, looking for, for, for resources from wherever we can and make sure we just put our words into actions. Well, I think um, you've said it best, the time to act is now, and I think that's really something that we have seen at the pre-forum today. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, and keep doing the excellent job that you're doing, connecting um, what is happening here with the whole world, and of course, advocating for the girl child around the world. Thank you. Thank you.